Hey y'all, welcome to the Messy Studio. Come on in and see what's going on. Hey y'all, I had a request for a special piece from a return customer. He said, just make me something cool out of some cool wood. I don't know what that means, but I mean, to me, all wood is cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but I found this beast in my pile. I'm not sure what this is. It's heavy, so it, I'm pretty sure it's either oak or mesquite. I'm not sure. I just know it's heavy. And uh, this is probably 20, 25 pounds. So I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw. I've roughed out a circle with an orange marker. I'm going to take it to the bandsaw, make it roughly round. This will be turned away. I'll plan on putting the foot down here. Uh, this will be the top of the bowl. So I'll put a face plate on it. We'll put it on the lathe and we'll go. So first to the bandsaw. going to be 11 inches when it's done by probably four. This looks like a job for one of my big face plates. When you're putting a face plate on, always use real wood screws. Don't use drywall screws. These are number 12s by two inches. From the looks of things, the center is right there. That's what I'm going to call it. And because this is mesquite, I'm going to pre-drill it. Now the real question is, how many of these are going to shear up? when I try to take them out. Got that one chewed up already. I'm gonna tack this a different way. side or next to each other it is a little disconcerting yeah I, I expected this to be quite a bit off balance thank you Ron well, let's go Five hundred RPM. 
making progress. Slow going, but we're making progress. I'm cutting more wood than air over here now. That was a knock. Well, I'm making a mess today. I love having the grinder right close. isn't too bad now. It's about 900. Got some nice checks. Checks nothing. These are all outright cracks. But I'm making stabilize them. Famous last words I know. I'm gonna try to save this piece of ski. stabilize these cracks with CA and call it a day. The humidity is just too high, I can't see, everything keeps fogging up. I'm actually considering changing the shape on this a little bit. some of it I might as well fill it all. several applications of this. That's the only thing I don't like about doing this stuff. Slows the process down. But my customers like the effect. So. We all get a bit of a noise break today. It's only 80 out here right now. 79% humidity. And it's comfortable enough, I don't have to have the big fan going. So, we don't have all that noise to deal with. I've been told that that background noise, all that shop noise, is a put off to a lot of people watching my videos. So, I'm gonna try to keep it down. We'll see, I may have to just start doing voiceovers. If you're not bothered by the shop background noise, let me know.
I'm still undecided on how I'm going to shape the top. I don't know. I'm going to play with some stuff. We'll see what happens. But now I'm going to get this sanded up. I'm just going to put some sanding sealer here on the bottom. Let that flash off for a few minutes <clears throat> and then I'm going to Yorkshire grit it. Boy, it's got some pretty chatoyants. You can actually feel this stuff cutting. It's crazy. keep going until it comes back clean. It ain't clean yet. Wow. I don't know if that Chatoyance is showing up on camera or not. Got a little bit of sap wood over here, but it's okay. Got some funky rays running in here. That hairline crack that I hit with CA, it should be okay. Now I'm going to part this off. Get it off of here, put the chuck on it, turn it around. Get that face plate off and get those busted screws out. Now the fun begins. I may need to look into ordering a better quality screw. These are supposed to be good. this easy it would be wonderful so fat boy how you gonna get them other two out well let me show you you could use a plug cutter and cut around it I've got plug cutters I also have this small hole saw now I don't have the center drill in it Okay, I'm going to try to break this wood away from the screw. This is a, an old beat up Stanley bench chisel that I've had for 30, 40 years. And this, I use it for all kinds of stuff, like this. And I keep picks on the lathe just for this purpose or digging stuff out, that is. That'll work. Voila! Do. And that, boys and girls, is how you get broken screws out of your piece. Now, I'm going to do some work on the front of this. I don't know what I'm going to do on the middle yet or on the inside. So for the time being, I'm going to keep my tailstock in place. I try to work as close to the center of the tool rest as I can. Now, I'll true this up a little, and then I'll start working on what kind of shape or what I want to, what kind of accents I want out here. Got a fresh edge. Going about 8.50. That just 
saw, you can really hog some material out, but if it's nice and sharp like that one is, you can get a relatively smooth cut as well. sweep down in the middle. It's not going to be terribly deep. Walls are going to be thick obviously because this is a decorative piece, it's an artistic piece. I like that. Now I'll use my homemade point tool. differentiation mark and establish the bead. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Y'all come back.